This right here is five different copies of my book that were printed by five different print-on-demand companies. I have been unboxing and reviewing so many print-on-demand companies on my YouTube channel, and today's the day where we decide which one is the best print-on-demand company and, you know, that would be in my opinion. But as you watch, let me know what you think the best print on demand company is in the comments down below. In this video, we're gonna be breaking it down by category. We'll be talking about cost to print, royalties, proof copies, quality of the cover, quality of the interior, customer service, and lastly, distribution. We will decide the winner of each category, and then at the end, we will decide who won the most categories or who is just my favorite in general. So be sure to stay tuned and let me know your opinion down below in the comments. This video is actually a part of my Beginner's Guide to Self-Publishing series here on YouTube, so if you want to watch the entire playlist, it will be linked down below. In this series, I go in depth with every single print on demand company. So if you want to learn more about any of them, all the videos are linked down below. My name is Mandy Lynn. I'm an author, book cover designer, and the creator of the Book Launch Planner, and I make weekly videos on the business of being an author. So if that sounds right up your alley, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the bell notification icon so you never miss a new upload. Okay, so the way this is gonna work is that I've got the copies of the book here, I've got my laptop here, so I'm gonna go through all the categories and decide a winner or sometimes winners of each category, and I'm gonna be able to come back at the end and decide, you know, who had the most wins of each category, and that will be the best print-on-demand company. Keep in mind that for all these examples, it's all for the same exact book with the same printing requirements. It's a five and a half by eight and a half book. It is 330 pages. It has cream paper, regular black and white interior. Those are the printing requirements we're working with here. That way, everything is on a level playing field. So first category is cost to print, and I'm gonna go through, and this is just how much they say it costs to print one copy of your book. That's not um, counting like royalties and different things like that. This is just how much it costs to print a copy before all of that fancy math. So Kindle Direct Publishing, it costs $4.80 to print my book. For Ingram Spark, $5.90. For Barnes & Noble Press, $5.22. For Draft to Digital, I couldn't find an exact breakdown, um, and maybe it was there somewhere, but Draft Digital's um, print is in beta version, so I don't know if they'll break down the numbers later, uh, but all they tell me is the royalty rate I get and not how much it costs, but I do know my author proof copy cost me $30. So take that for what you will. And lastly, we have Lulu, which costs $8.88. So the clear winner for the cost to print category is Kindle Direct Publishing at $4.80. The next category is royalties. So this is how much money you as an author will make printing this book through each print on demand company. And also note, I am listing my book for $12.99. So with Kindle Direct Publishing, I make an even $3. For Ingram Spark, there's two kind of different price options. If I do the 30% wholesale discount, I make $3.19. And then if I do the 50% discount, I make 60 cents. And they actually recommend that you do higher discounts because retailers like when you give a higher re discount, but obviously the higher discount you give, the less money you make. So in this case, it's the difference between making $3.19 or 60 cents. So I'll let you decide which one you want. Then with Barnes & Noble Press, we have $1.92. With draft digital we have $0.49. Cents. And with Lulu, 
Uh, they did not accept my retail price of $12.19. I'd actually have to list my book at $17 in order to just be able to sell my book. That doesn't include me making any money. So with Lulu, uh, the answer is $0. And that's using Lulu's expanded distribution option. Lulu's kind of complicated because you can sell it through a bunch of different ways. But I thought for argument's sake, we would do the expanded distribution option since that is also a category we'll be talking about later on. I would say for royalties, we have a tie because Kindle Direct Publishing has a great royalty rate and Ingram Spark can potentially have a great royalty rate if you set it up that way. But they do recommend that you give a bigger wholesale discount so it could be good, it could be bad, it depends on how you set up your royalty rate. But I'm going to say for the royalty rate category, it's a tie between those two. The next category is proof copies. So when it comes to talking about proof copies, I'm not quite talking about the quality of the proof copies. I'm talking about special things to know about the proof copies, which you'll see what I mean when we get there. So first up is Kindle Direct Publishing. And Kindle Direct Publishing is famous for this lovely not for resale bar across the cover. So this lovely decorative bar will be on your cover until the book is physically up for sale. So until your publication date comes around, you're gonna have this bar on your book cover. Um, but once you hit publish, you can order a copy of your book and it will look beautiful like usual and it won't have that not for resale bar across the front. That not for resale bar is actually a reason why a lot of people choose to work with um, Ingram Spark or Barnes and Noble Press so they can get a copy of their book that is beautiful that they can take photos with before release day. So that is probably one of the biggest bummers that authors come across with Kindle Direct Publishing. For Ingram Spark, their proof copies are perfect. For Barnes & Noble Press, I would say their proof copies are perfect. Again, it's the same printer, so it should be. Uh, for draft to digital their proof copies, again, are perfect, but I do have to note you will have to pay $30 for your proof copy, so that's up to you. Uh, and then Lulu, I would also say their proof copies are perfect because there is nothing wrong with them. These are all copies of your book that you can use for marketing purposes before your book comes out. Now the winner of the proof copies I would say is Ingram Spark. You could also say it's Barnes and Noble Press or Lulu, but I think Ingram Spark is just a little bit more reliable. I did have a weird issue with the quality of my cover from Barnes and Noble Press, and I think honestly Ingram Spark just has slightly more quality control, but even that is arguable and I'll talk about that later. But for that reason I'm going to say the winner of the proof copy category is Ingram Spark. Next category is quality of cover. Now the quality of these covers, and when I say cover, I mean the front, spine, and the back. I'm gonna just wrap that all into one. So the quality is all more or less the same. The two biggest differences that I see are from KDP, and the cover is gorgeous, but it is a slightly different color. It is the tiniest bit more dull, but I would say this is actually truer to the colors that I see on my computer screen, whereas all these book covers are very bright and vibrant compared to what I actually designed the cover to be. So I actually really like how bright and vibrant is, but technically the KDP one is slightly more true to the design, I just happen to like the more vibrant version better. And then the only other difference is that my copy of my book that came in from Barnes & Noble Press, on the back it has this really obvious crease. I don't know if that's just a fluke for my copy or if that's normal that maybe Barnes & Noble Press, even though they're using the same printer as Ingram Spark, if maybe they just don't have as good quality control. I don't know, but I did want to mention it. On that same note, uh, if you put all the books side by side, they're all more or less about the same height, except the Barnes & Noble Press one is significantly shorter. I would say about a fourth of an inch shorter than the rest of them, which is just kind of funny, but I wanted to point that out. So I think the worst ones in this category are Barnes & Noble Press. You could argue and say it's a three-way tie between Ingram Spark, Draft2Digital, 
and Lulu. But I think taking other things into account as well that Ingram Spark would actually be the winner of this category. Let's talk about the next category, which is the quality of the interior. This could be different things like how thick the paper is because we know that's something I love to talk about or it could be the bleed. We've had a lot of issues with print-on-demand companies trimming the bleed section of the chapter headers incorrectly. I'm gonna go through these really quickly just to talk about both of those. So first up, we have KDP. So the interior for KDP is actually perfect. They trim the bleed perfectly. I never have any complaints, have never had issues. The paper quality is actually a little thick on the thinner side, which I prefer personally as a reader. That's more similar to the books we see on our shelves here. So I would say KDP interior, perfect. Let's move on to Ingram Spark interior. This book feels significantly floppier than KDP, even though the paper quality is, I would say, about the same. I think the cover quality is slightly thinner, which again, I prefer floppier paperbacks. It's more pleasing to feel and it's more similar to those books behind me on the shelf. So I would actually say I prefer the Ingram Spark quality slightly more. And then they also have their bleed trimmed perfectly on the interior. So that is that. And then we have Barnes and Noble. So Barnes and Noble Press uh, did not trim the bleed correctly but again for the rest of it the paper quality and the floppiness quality is about the same draft to digital feels slightly more stiff but almost in like a high quality way i'm not totally convinced it's the same exact printer as ingram spark but it is darn close i would say the paper feels like it might be slightly thicker um, but I could just be going crazy now after overanalyzing so many books. Last but not least, we have Lulu. Lulu is my stiffest book. It doesn't have a whole lot of flop to it. It's a book where if you're reading it, you really feel like you gotta crack the spine. Um, and then same with the paper. The paper feels thicker. So that to me is a downside. You may hear thicker paper, thicker cover and think that's a good thing but for me when it comes to paperbacks you want to blend in with the other books on the shelf so all things said i would say ingram spark is the winner of this category with kdp being a very very close second and honestly that comes down to personal preference but you could also just say it's a tie between ingram spark and kdp this next category is for customer service because when you're an author, things go wrong and you need good customer service to get the job done. So, Kindle Direct Publishing, fantastic customer service. You can call them, you can email them. I don't think they have a live chat, but honestly, they respond within 24 hours to emails. And they're also really great on the phone, especially if you have troubles specifically with Amazon, because I've had that before. And I was able to get not only Kindle Direct Publishing on the line, but Amazon on the line at the same time to solve my issues. Ingram Spark, on the other hand, is the polar opposite. They used to have a phone number you could call, they actually took it down. So you can't call Ingram Spark for customer service anymore. You can only only email them and I believe it takes three to five days so not great and usually when they do respond within those three to five days uh, it's not usually helpful in my experience at least so that is a huge downer for me Barnes & Noble Press I'm not completely sure on their customer service because I didn't end up having to use them but I've heard that it's pretty good and that Barnes & Noble Press is a great option to go to when you really like Ingram Spark but you want the same quality of book without the awful customer service of Ingram Spark so yeah. draft to digital their customer service is okay. I did end up having to email them because my proof copy took three months to come in the mail. I think that was a fluke accident, but after the second time emailing them, my book literally showed up the next day. Whether that was a result of me emailing them or not, I have no clue. But they do have an email that they answer within a somewhat timely manner, but not necessarily within 24 hours. Lastly, Lulu, I didn't end up having to use their customer service, but I assume it's about the same as everyone else. So our clear winner for this category is Kindle Direct Publishing because they let you call them as well as email them and they're fast to respond.
And our last category is distribution. So Kindle Direct Publishing is owned by Amazon, therefore their focus is distribution on Amazon and you know, Amazon is a huge seller of books, but they do also offer wide distribution. I'm not sure exactly how wide their wide distribution is. They don't make it super clear. I believe if you want bookstores to be able to order copies of your book, you would have to work with Ingram Spark because Ingram Spark has a totally different distribution system. But I believe Amazon's wide distribution will at least get you on online retailers but not necessarily on the type of listings that you need so bookstores and libraries can order your book. Which brings us to Ingram Spark, which has the widest of wide distributions. It makes it so bookstores can order your book, so libraries can order your book. But please note that does not mean that bookstores and libraries will automatically order your book. It just means that the option is there. So if a customer comes in and requests a copy of your book, they will be able to order the book. That request would have to be formally made in order for a bookstore to want to order your copy of your book and to know that your book even exists. So just keep that in mind when we're thinking about distribution. Next up we have Barnes & Noble Press and I think Barnes & Noble Press only does distribution for Barnes & Noble, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong, please. <laughs> then we have Draft2Digital. Draft2Digital has expanded distribution for sure. I just don't know what that expanded distribution is because again, they don't quite specify. Um, but again, it's in their print beta version. So hopefully we'll get more information down the line. Lastly, we have Lulu. Lulu's distribution is weird. <laughs> you can sell directly through Lulu. You can sell directly on your own website using Lulu's app, or you can sell directly through Lulu by ordering the copies of your book and handling the distribution yourself, or you can enable the distribution for wide distribution. Um, so Lulu's complicated, but again, with everything else with Lulu, it's gonna be hard for you to make it worth it. Okay, so that means the clear winner of this category is Ingram Sparks. So let's add up our points. I counted when there was like ties or when there was a clear winner. So KDP, I have down for four wins, and Ingram Spark, I have down for five wins. And then we have some honorable mentions for uh, Barnes & Noble Press, but I still, you know, there's some downsides to them. So oddly enough, Ingram Spark won. They won five to four with KDP being a close second place. And then Barnes & Noble Press, Lulu, and Draft Digital are kind of not really on the charts quite yet. Um, but you know, I, I am surprised when we break it down this way and that, uh, Ingram Spark is the one that won because if you guys watch my videos, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of Ingram Spark. Um, and that's almost 100% due to their customer service. I've also heard of issues of authors ordering copies of their hardcover books and they're missing the dust jacket. Like it's just gone, not there. Um, so those are things to be uh, mindful of. So you really have to, you know, even though Ingram Spark won more categories, you have to be mindful of what categories are the most important to you. Uh, to me, customer service is huge. So the fact that they, <laughs> I wouldn't even say they lost, they came in last for customer service. Um, that matters. So. I've, I've said like, oh, I'm never going to publish through Ingram Spark again, but sitting down and doing this video made me rethink some things and be like, oh, maybe I should consider Ingram Spark again. Like comparing it side by side with everyone else, it actually looks like a really good option. So I would say um, a category we didn't talk about is user friendliness. Um, I would say Ingram Spark comes in last with that. And KDP comes in first. KDP is super user friendly and intuitive. Ingram Spark has a huge learning curve where you can mess up and you can mess up big time. Take it from someone who has sent out blank copies of their book on accident to customers. It happens. So with that said, my suggestion is if you do choose to publish with Ingram Spark, go for it, but make sure you do your research, especially if you're doing pre-orders. 
things can get a little messy and unclear when it comes to pre-orders. I actually have an entire playlist on Ingram Spark, and I talk about not only the pros and cons, but very important tips that you need to know if you are publishing with Ingram Spark to avoid the same errors that I had because there have been <laughs> a lot. So I would say if you're on the advanced side of self-publishing, go for Ingram Spark. If you're a beginner for self-publishing, go with KDP. KDP is your safest bet and it's still a really great option. And the last thing I want to mention just because it came down to KDP and Ingram Spark is hardcovers. So both KDP and Ingram Spark offer hardcovers now. Ingram Spark offers traditional hardcovers with a dust jacket whereas KDP does not offer a dust jacket the cover art is printed directly onto that hard cover. So that's another thing where if you want to publish a hard cover and having that dust jacket is super important to you, you might want to consider that. Oh, and another thing that probably should have been a category that I didn't mention was the cost to publish because for KDP, Lulu, Draft Digital, and Barnes & Noble Press, there's no cost to publishing your book. It is all completely free. The only time you're paying to publish your book is when you're paying to order a physical copy of your book. However, Ingram Spark does have a fee and their fees range from $25 to $50 depending on what you're doing, whether it's creating a new listing or you're updating an existing listing. But basically, if you're publishing with Ingram Spark, plan to pay about $100 in fees when it comes to creating your book and making updates and everything else that you have to do. Let me know in the comments down below who you think is the best print on demand company. I want to say it's Kindle Direct Publishing and then Ingram Spark is is a very close second and now it's appealing to me again even though I just told myself like a couple months ago I'd never work with them again. So yeah, forever contemplating life over here. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe.